ओम वक्रतुंड महाकाय सूर्यकोटिम प्रभ निर्विघ्न कुर मे देव सर्वकार्यु सरस्वती नमस्तभ्यं वरधे कामिणी विद्यारंभम करिष्यामि सिद्धिर्भवतु मे सदा गुरवे सर्वोकाषे निधये सर्व विद्या दक्षिणामूर्त नम ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योमेहाय दक्षिणामूर्त नम सदाशिव सारंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्रभाष्यकृत वंदे श्रुतिस्मृतिपुराण आल कल नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंकर साक्षात्त दयानंद परमास्वूपिण तत्वज्ञान प्रशास्ता प्रणतस्म पर सहना सहनौ भुन सह वीकवाह तेजस्वीनावधेतमस्तमाषावह अखंड सच्चिदानंद मन स गोचर आश्रये आश्रये तत्र अनुबंधो नाम तत्र अत्र अधिकारी विषय संबंध प्रयोजना अधिकारी तो विधिवत अधीत वेद वेदांग अधिगत अखिल जन्मनी जन्मांतरे वा वर्जन पुरस्सरं 
साधन चतुष्टय संपन्न स्वर्गादि इष्ट साधना ज्योतिषोमादी ब्राह्मण हननादी definition of adhikari is given beautifully in this line adhikari to iti there are certain words were used by the author kamya kamya karma kamya karmani nishiddha pratishiddha nishiddha karmani these two karmas karma dvayam tyajyam tyajyam karma should be given up not for following it's it is for giving up and nitya naimittika prayashta prayashtita upasana anushthanena nitya karma naimittika karma prayashtita karma all these are karmas and upasana meditation now all these words are new for the student because the author has used these terms therefore he himself describes what it is kamyani kani iti yukte kamyani ishta sadhanani jyotishto madini nishiddha nishiddha karmani kani nishiddha karmani anishta sadhanani अनिष्ट साधना नरकादि अनिष्ट साधना ब्राह्मण हरनादीनी डिफैन थ्रू दृष्टांत इट डिफैन वाट दिस कर्मा साम्या निषिद्धा यर इन दिस डेफिनेशन यू कैन सी द इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट इज साधन चतुष्ट संपन्न प्रभाता नोवर हू इज एंडोर्ड विथ साधन चतुष्ट संपत्ति In fact, it could have given just the definition. Adhikari sadhana chaturtha ya sampanna ha pramata. That is the definition, simple definition. But it has given a long definition because the definition is complete by itself. We cannot improve upon this complete definition of who an adhikari is. The adhikari here. the person is interested in moksha he is interested in moksha he is a mumukshu he is a mumukshu as a mumukshu as a mumukshu he has been performing or he has been qualifying himself by the performance of the karma karma is required karma is required for gaining the eligibility for the pursuit of gnana without the eligibility and the eligibility is sadhana chaturtaya sampatti hi that is the eligibility so all the preceding lines are because for this all the preceding lines are 
that is starting from Vidhivata Adita Veda Vedangatvena up to Nirmala Swantaha. These are the causes for gaining the Sadhana Chatushtaya Sampati. Therefore, by the by the observance of this, by the observance of Ishtak, that is the karma which are ordained by the Shastram, which are to be performed, by the by avoiding the karma, which are not conducive for moksha, by this, a person makes himself eligible for the pursuit of moksha. He gains sadhana chatushtaya sampatti, sampannaha endowed with sadhana chatushtaya sampatti, then he becomes, then the pramata, then his pramata is, becomes the knower. Because moksha, moksha is possible only through knowing. In the beginning, he was a mumukshu. Then he understood that moksha is possible only through jnanam. He becomes a jignyasu. As a mumukshu, he prepares himself cultivating sadhana chatushtaya sampatti. Now he is a sadhana chatushtaya sampannaha. So in the stage of in this in the stage of the preparation he has to perform karma there is no choice in the preparatory stage the person has to perform karma even though he is mukshu he is committed to he is committed to moksha he has got intense vairagya fine everything being there but he should gain the eligibility he should be endowed with, he should have Shama Dhamma Uparati Titiksha Shraddha Samanam Mumukshuttam, Tivra Mumukshuttam. All these have to be have to be there in the person. Then only the person, when he gets into the pursuit of Shastram, the study of Shastram, which involves knowing, knowledge, Moksha is gained. So therefore, here yeah, the definition, the complete definition also gives the preparation required on the part of the Mumukshu. Then as a Jignasu, he pursues this study of Shastram, approaching a Guru. Guru Upasadhanam, then Shamanam Mananaridhyasanam, Tena, Atma Jnanam, Prapnoti. Who, this person who is Sadhana Chatushtaya Sampannaha and who is a Jignasu. So, Starting from Adhigari to up to Nirmala Swantaha Sadhana Chaturish Sampannaha is the Brahma Sutra Athato Brahma Jignasa. The first Sutra is Athato Brahma Jignasa. That is the meaning of the word Atha. The meaning of the word Atha in the Sutram Athato Brahma Jignasa is given. Atha, atha means after gaining the Sadhana Chaturishtaya Sampatti through what? By Karma Yoga and Upasana. So therefore, he covers, the author covers all the means required for gaining the sadhana chatushtaya sampatti. Observance of Ittinemitika, Prashita Upasana, Upasana, Pachitaneshtaryam, and avoidance of the karma also, what should be avoided. So by that, he gains sadhana chatushtaya sampati. That is the very meaning of the word atha in the sutra of atato brahma jignasa. After that, ataha brahma jignasa kartavyaha. The meaning of the word atha is up to nirmala swantaha sadhana chatushtaya sampannaha. Up to that, sadhana chatushtaya sampannaha. Up to that, that is the meaning of the word atha in the brahma sutra, the first sutra. Then ataha jignasa brahma jignasa kartavya jignasa. Jignasa is Jnatum Icha, the desire to know. And the person is Jignasu Pramata. The Pramata, now who is endowed with Sadhana Chatushtaya Sampati, that is Sadhana Chatushtaya Sampannaha, he becomes the Pramata. So it's a complete definition. His growth from being a Mamukshu to Jignasu, it's, it's growth from, first is Becomes a mumukshu. First, he is a mumukshu, then he becomes a jignasu. Jignasu completes the process. Just being a mumukshu is not enough. Yes, that he has to be a jignasu. He must be a the desirer of knowing. He must be desirous of knowing. Knowing what? Knowing the vastu, Brahma. That is not by himself. Again, that is all. It's implied. 
not by himself. How that with the Pranipatena Paripreshna Sevia Upadek Shantite Gyanam Gyaninaha Tatwadar Shinaha Tat Guru Pasadanam Shastra Patanam Iti. So, therefore, this seems to be this uh, line passage seems to look like the com commentary, simple commentary to the sutra. Atato Brahma Jignasa. In the Brahma Sutra, Atha is Avyayam. Atha, Ataha, Jignasa. Three words are there. For which Bhashekara had written a long commentary. Each word he had elaborated. And when he elaborated the meaning of the word Atha, that, that Takara is Mahaprana, Atha. He gives a meaning sadhana chatushtaya sampati after gaining sadhana chatushtaya sampati. Then after that, jignasa, brahma jignasa, kartavya. So this definition seems to cover the, the first sutra completely. Who will do the brahma jignasa, inquiry into brahma jignasa, inquiry into the brahma, who will do only the person who is who has qualified himself. Therefore, sadhana chatushta is sampannaha. And jignasa is involved, therefore, tarmata. So the definition is perfect definition, complete definition. Why I am saying this? Here, the author says, karma and all should be observed, should be followed, anushtanam, karma anushtanam, karma anushtanam, kartavyam, but we have seen na karmana na prajaya dhane na tyage reike amrutatpamana shuhu not by karma, not by wealth, not by progeny, by, not by any of these things. Moksha is gained only by tyaga, only by sannyasa. Then here why he says nitya nemitika prayashista vasana anushtanam, the doubt comes. And also we have seen Parikshalokan, Karmachitan, Brahmanaha Nirvedamaya, Nastya Krita Kritena, Akritaha, Mokshaha, Kritena, Karmanana, Nasti. Karmana Nasti. Moksha is not produced by action. But here the author says, Nitya Nimitika Prashita Upasana Anushtanam. Why all this should be done? The question comes. That is why all these are required for the preparation. By doing what is to be done, by avoiding that which should not be done, and by upasana, he gains chitta shuddhi, he becomes a person eligible for the pursuit of moksha. Therefore, karma is required, karma as a role. Karma as a role to play. But karma cannot give moksha. But karma cannot give moksha. Karma is being limited. How can karma give moksha? That is why akrtaha moksha. Moksha is not created. But karma is, is doing. Doing cannot produce that which is not gained by karma. So, so therefore, karma is required for preparation. In the Upadesha Dharam, the Brahma Magrashi beautifully says, this karma, kriti mahodadau patanakaranam, palamashashvatam ghati nirodakam. This kriti mahodadau, in the ocean of this samsara, the doing is samsara. Doing, doing means you do and therefore you want to become doing. Kriti mahodadau, the whole Veda Purva. The Veda Purva, the voluminous portion of the Veda, which prescribes varieties of karma for various ends. Kriti Mahodadau, Patana Karanam, Samsara Patana Karanam. And the result of that, Palam Ashashvatam, Ashashvatam Palam, na Nitya Palam, Anitya Palam. And Gati Nirodakam, Moksha Gati Nirodakam. It hinders your it hinders your progress or growth for moksha. Gati nirodakam. So karma as its defect. Then why karma is 
to be performed. It is required for gaining Nitanta Nirmala Swantaha. So, therefore, karma is required. By performing karma, he becomes eligible. Eligibility. The eligibility of an adhikari is to be mentioned. Therefore, karma is to be mentioned by which the adhikari gets the eligibility. So, by the definition, one should not misunderstand. The author insists on doing karma. Karma is required for the preparation. The author takes for granted the students who are studying Vedanta have prepared themselves their sadhana chatushtaya sampannaha iti. The author assumes. Therefore, only he writes a text. He is not going to describe on this karma. He just how to perform karma and all those things. He just mentioned the technical words kamya nishiddha all these are technical words. That definition alone he will mention, but he will not insist on how to perform this karma, etc. That is out of scope of this text. Then that to know how to perform the karma, that is karma yoga, that is Gita. Gita is in Bhagavad Gita, elaborates on karma yoga. So in the Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavad Gita is the text which elaborates on karma yoga, it, it gives many details, both technical details and the, and the guide, guidelines on how to do karma, how to do karma. Gita insists on doing karma and how to do karma. For what? For gaining sadhana chatushtaya sampatti. That is the only grantha, only text only pramanam for a Vedantic student which provides guidelines beautifully on how to perform karma. That is not mentioned in this text. It is out of the scope of this text. That is why Gita is there. Bhagavan Krishna had done that job. Therefore, no other text in the world is available. No other text is available other than Gita on the guidelines on the performance of karma, how to perform a karma. Okay, that being said, this being a complete definition, now the technical words are the kamya karma, nishiddha karma, that the author explains that we have seen in the last class, kamya karma. Kamya karma means what? Karma, kamya, the word is derived from the dhatu kama. Kama means desire. So therefore, karma palam uddishya kriyamanani karmani kamyani karmani iti. So, karma which is performed with the intention to gain the desired result. That ishta palam is the palam, the result. The result which are accomplished by the means, the sadhanam. Sadhanam is karma, which could be Vaidika or Logika, water may be karma. Here the author gives a Vaidika example, Jyotishtoma Dini, Jyotishtoma Karma. Jyotishtoma Karma is performed for, performed for what? Performed to go to Swarga Loka, Swarga Loka, Rapti, Kriyamanani, Karmani, Jyotishtoma Karma. Kriyamana, Kriyamana Karma, Jyotishtoma Karma. Adini, Adini, Adipada, we can bring all the other karmas, which are the means for gaining the ishta, ishta palam. So, Surga, the ishtam, Surga, etc., which are desired, and for the gaining of which sadhanam, the means, are kamyani, karmani, kamaya hitani, kamyani iti. Is it is this karma conducive for an aspirant, for a spiritual aspirant? No. Kamya karma. Kamya karma makes a person drift away from the, from the spiritual goal, from the goal, moksha goal. Because kamya comes under what purusharta? It comes under kama purusharta. 
Among these, Trivida, Parichinna, Purushartha, Dharmartha, Kama Purushartha, under this Purushartha, this Kami Karma comes. Or in the language of Katopanishad, this is Preyas. Shreyas cha Preyas cha Manushyame taha tausam. Tamparita vivinat pidhiraha. So, this comes under Preyas. Preyas means going after the pleasant. It's called Preyas. So, it becomes Preyas. Therefore, it is not conducive for a spiritual aspirant. So, therefore, Kami Karma Varjana Purasaram, the author said, Varjana Purasaram, the Kami Karma Varjana. Varjana means devoid of, free from, given up. Kami Karma should be given up. That is the meaning. Kami Karma should be given up. Then another Karma, Nishiddha Karma. The karma which are prohibited. Here also the author gives the Shastra Vigita, Shastra Nishiddha Karma, Brahmana Hananadini. That also we can take Lok in Lokika, what Lokika also, whatever the karma which are proper, which are dharmika, that alone should be done. And with regard to Vedika also, whatever the Veda says, whatever the Veda or Say that is Veda says both do's and don'ts. So whatever Veda prohibits, that should be that should not be performed. One should avoid that. Why? Because it is conducive for gaining Naraka Loka. Narakadi. Is it Ishtam? No, it is Anishtam. Nobody likes to go to Naraka. Why? Swargaloka is is Turka Loka is a loka where the Anubhava is Sukham, Sukhanubhava, is a place of pleasure. And Naraka is a loka, it's a place of pain. One is a place of pleasure, other one is a place of pain. So who will choose the place of pain? Therefore, Anishtam. It is Anishta Sadhanani. The means by which the Anishta Palam, like gaining the Svargaloka, etc., or Nishiddhani Karmani, like what Brahmana Hananadini, Adini, for that we can bring in Brahmana Hananam, Shishu Hananam, that is also Papam. Any, any Bhuta, any being, any, any Hinsa, that is a Papa, papa Karma only, it should not be done. Andratam Mavada, don't tell lies, stick to dharma, dharmam chara, surapanam na bibed, kalanjim na bakshit, all these are Veda Nishiddha karma. All this karma comes under Nishiddha ni karma. This is the, the simple definition of Nishiddha ni karma. Therefore, these two karmas are to be avoid, avoided. And comes the Nitya karmani. Nityani karmani, nitya karmani. Nityani is the karma which have to be performed. This also we saw in the last class. Nityani karmani. Akrane pratevaya satnani. Why it is called nitya? When it is not performed, when nitya karma is not performed, it results in the papam, results in the Harmful results called Pratyavaya. It's a defect, it's a dosha. Pratyavaya. Sadhanani, Sandhya Vandanani, Vandanadini. Nitya meaning compulsory, or Nitya mean that which is to be performed daily. So Sandhya Vandanadi or daily karma, Nitya karma, Pratyakam karma, Aharakam Sandhyam Upasita, Agniyotra karma, Nitya karma. It is not once in a while it is performed. It is every day. Karma being simple, it should be done every day. That is called Nitya Karma. So Nitya Karma, when it is not done, that is why it's called Nitya. When it is not done, it will result in Pratyavaya. Pratyavaya means Dukkam. Here the Dukkam is not like the Dukkam gained by doing Nishiddha Karma. This is a different. Here, if you don't do, you will get Dukkha. 
Nishita karma also doing dukkam, but this dukkam is different. What is a dukkam? Your samsara will continue. That is a dukkam. Akarane pratyavayaha is, that is, you will continue to be a samsari. Whatever the durita, durita karmas are there in your account, that will continue. So, that will continue. Durita karma. And therefore, your progress, spiritual progress will be hindered. Therefore, only Nityani, Karmani, Nitya Karmani should be performed. By doing, you don't gain anything special. But non-performance of that will, will result in manifestation of the Durita Karma, of your past Durita Karma. Therefore, only Nityani. Then what about Praya Shita? Anyway, that is going to come later. We will see. This Sandhya Vandana Adi Karma, this Panchamaha Ejna, what a Grigastha does, all this Karma, Pitra Ejna, Brahma Ejna, Deva Ejna, Bhuta Ejna, Nara Ejna, all this Karma, all these Karmas or Nitya Karma, why should, should be performed? Because this Sambhavya Mana Papanam Nivaranartam Sambhavya 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 Mana Papanam Nivaranartam The Papa The result of the past karma That Papa karma Unfavorable Undesirable The result of The previous karma Which may manifest For the avoidance of that This Nityani Karmani should be done karaniyani otherwise what will happen otherwise the papam will manifest that will hinder your progress it will hinder your spiritual pursuit therefore it should be done so it is not that it produces something new palam but it takes care of the past papa karma palam the karma which have been done before papa karma the result of them is waiting to manifest. So that can be handled by performance of Nitya Karma. Therefore, only the author gives a definition in a negative way. Akarane Pratyavaya Sadhanani. That becomes a means for the Pratyavaya Dosha when not done. Like what? Sandhya Vandanadini. So Pratyavaya is a technical term. About that, there's a big discussion in the Vashyam. Suppose if papam is not there, if papam is there, not there, then why should you ask? Then the performance of this Nitya Karma, papam is not there, then performance of this Nitya Karma, Karma being there, it is a Karma, then it will produce palam in the form of Chitta Shuddhi. Karma Yoga, etc. All this will come. Chitta Shuddhi. Chitta Shuddhi Artham. So, for the gaining the sadhana chatushte sampratti, two things, two types of, two types of the durita one has to handle. For gaining sadhana chatushte sampratti, two types of durita. One is the past durita. Durita meaning the papa karma, what we have done before, the karma which has been performed before. The result of that is waiting to manifest. That is one. And while living the karma, what we perform? Papa karma. As a sadhaka, we should avoid papa karma. We should avoid. That's why kamya karma, nishiddha karma should be avoided. But what about the karma which have been done? How to nullify that? For that only nityani karmani is recommended. Nitya karma should be performed. So, Nitya Karma takes care of the, the Pratyavaya Dosha. That is why it has got the name Nityani. For a sadhaka, it's very important. Nityani. Avashyam Karaniyani. That's why Nityani. Compulsory. Or it is daily. Which are compulsory and to be performed daily. In fact, 
nityani is compulsory. Nitya means not that eternal, not that meaning. Atma nitya, not that nitya is, should be performed compulsorily and daily. So the, when the, why the daily we say because there is another karma, which is naimitika karma. Another karma is naimitika karma. Nimitta mulakam karma, naimitika karma, occasional karma, occasional duty that are also have to be performed. So nitya naimitika should be observed, should be performed. Therefore, because naimitika is there, which is performed occasionally, it's not a regular, it's not a daily karma. Therefore, we translate nitya karma as daily karma. Compulsory action. Naimitika also compulsory should be done. Therefore, only Nitya Karma is translated as daily rituals, daily karma. Let us read this. Nityani. Nityani. Akarane Pratyavaya Sadhanani. Akarane Pratyavaya Sadhanani. Sandhya Vandana Dini. Naimittikani Naimittikani Putra Janmadi Anubandini Putra Janmadi Anubandini Jatesh Tiadini Jatesh Tiadini So Naimittikani Nimitta Mulakam Karma Naimittikam The word Naimittika is a the word Putra Janma di Anubandi ni Jatesh Jadi ni. All are in a Pumsakalinga. Naimitikam, Naimitike, Naimitikani. Nimitta Mulakam Karma, Naimitikam Karma. Karma is a Pumsakalinga, therefore Naimitikam Karma. So therefore Naimitikam, Naimitika Vishesham Ashatya Vigitani, Shastra Vigitani Karmani, Naimitikani. Like what? Putra Janmadi, like Putra Janmadi, Anubandini, Yatesh Tyadini. That, like, that, uh, the, the karma which connects the, with the Putra Janma. Putra Janma is a, an example given. Yatesh Karma, which is performed on the birth of his son. Yatesh Karma. Which is done occasionally, not every day. Every day son is not born. Similarly, Shadda Karma, then occasionally. Similarly, the other karmas also, which are performed, which are performed on special occasions, those karmas. Putra Janma, the Anubandini. Putra Janma, Anubandini. Anubandini is Anubandha means connection. The connection, the, the karma, which are connected to the birth of the sun, etc. Like what? Like Jatesh. Jateshti karma, Jateshti adini. Jateshti is a karma which is performed on the birth of the sun. Such karmas are called Naimitya karma. Should it be performed or should it be avoided? Should be performed. Because it is Shastra Vigitam. That which is Vigitam by the Shastram should be performed. So Nitya Naimitika Karaniyani karmani, Shastrena Vigitani karmani, therefore Karaniyani. For what? Itanta Nirmala Swantaha for gaining the Tita Shuddhi. This is what Karma Yoga is. Performance of Nitya Nimitya Karma result in Nirgata, nirgata Kalmashataya Nitanta Nirmala Swantaha. This Nitya Karma, under Nitya Karma only comes Panchamaha Yajna. So Panchamaha Yajna performed by the Gragastha. Nitya Karma the Sandhya Vandanam, etc. Agni, uh, Sandhya Vandanam performed by Pedibamajaris and Grigastha. Agni Otra performed by the Grigastha. And the Agni Otra Karma, an interesting thing is that the Agni Otra Karma, which is performed by a Grigastha, only a married person can perform the Karma. The blanket rule is the result of the Karma is Sarga Loka Prapti. Swarga Loka Prapti is the is karma palam, it's a palam of the performance of Agni Otra Karma. Now, the person who performs the Agni Otra Karma because he's a Grigastha, therefore he performs a karma. 
is a mumukshu is not interested in swarga loka he is a mumukshu then what will happen can he give up the nitya karma no he has to continue to perform the nitya karma he has to continue to perform the sandhya vandana di karma even though he is a mumukshu he cannot give up why because he is a grihastha being in grihastha ashrama he has to continue to perform those karma then what would be the result of the karma then what phalam it would give we said agnivatra karma gives swarga phalam now this person being a mumukshu will he go to swarga even though he wants moksha no then the karma what he performs the sandhya vandanam the agnivatra karma the karma becomes nishkama karma the karma becomes nishkama karma if he was not a mumukshu then the karma is sakama karma if he is a mumukshu then the karma what he performs becomes nishkama karma when the goal is moksha this compulsory action nitya nimitya karma becomes a means for gaining moksha through what through chitta through chitta shuddhi not directly that always we have to bring in they are not sakshat karana moksha yet they are only parampara karana it will favor the person by giving antakarana shuddhi so the phalam will be there karma karma phalam will be there avashyam bhavitva as shastram says tadetha satyam karma will give the phalam there is no doubt about that even though the person is not interested in parichinna phalam like sarvaloka prapti but still the karma what he performs agnivotra adi karma will give phalam the phalam in the form of giving chitta shuddhi and therefore becomes conducive for his goal moksha goal therefore he has to perform nitya nimitya karma should be anushteyani iti then the next come pragas chitta ani pragas chitta also pragas chitta also should be performed but is it nitya no it's not nitya not every day prashita is not not done prash prashita also for the nullification of certain known papas or unknown papas also if the papa is known then one can do prashita if papa is not known but can be inferred then for that also one can do prashita and what is prashita karma that the author defines here let us read ಪ್ರಾಯಶ್ಚಿತ್ತಾಸ್ಟಾಂಡ್ರಾಯಣಾ ಪ್ರಾಯಶ್ಚಿತ್ತಾಪಕ್ಷಯ ಸಾಧನಾ ಕರ್ಮಾ ಪ್ರಾಯಶ್ಚಿತ್ತ ಸೊ ಪ್ರಾಯಶ್ಚಿತ್ತ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಅಸ್ ಪ್ಯೂರಿಫಿಕೇಟರಿ ಆರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೇಟರಿ ಕರ್ಮ ದನ್ ಫಾರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಪಾಪಕ್ಷಯ ನಲ್ಲಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ನಲ್ಲಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ಪಾಪ ದ ಸಾಧನ ಸಾಧ್ಯತೆ ಅನೇನ ಇದು ಸಾಧನ ದ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಬೈ ವಿಚ್ ದಿ ನಲ್ಲಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ಪಾಪಂ ಇಸ್ ದನ್ ದೋಸ್ ಕರ್ಮ ದೋಸ್ ಕರ್ಮಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಪ್ರಾಗಿಷ್ಟಿತ್ತ ಕರ್ಮ ವೈ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ವೈ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ರೆಕಮೆಂಡೆಡ್ ವೈ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಡನ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಸಮ್ ಪ್ರಾರಬ್ಧ ಕರ್ಮ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ಅಕೌಂಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಮ್ಯಾನಿ ವಿಚ್ ಐ ಮ್ಯಾನಿಫೆಸ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ಪ್ರಾರಬ್ಧ ಕರ್ಮ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಅನ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಒನ್ ಸ್ಪಿರಿಚುವಲ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರೆಸ್ ದಟ್ ಪ್ರಾರಬ್ಧ ಕರ್ಮ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಚೇಂಜ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಪ್ರಾಯಶ್ಚಿತ್ತ ಪ್ರಾಯಶ್ಚಿತ್ತ ಕರ್ಮ ನಾಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಪ್ರಾರಬ್ಧ ಇಸ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಟು ನಲಿಫೈ ಇಫ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೋ ದೆನ್ ಇಫ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೋ ದೆನ್ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಬುಡ ಪ್ರಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ ಪ್ರಾಯಶ್ಚಿತ ಕರ್ಮ ಫಾರ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಪಾಪ ಕರ್ಮ ನೋ ಪ್ರಾರಬ್ಧ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ವಿ ಹವ್ ಸೀನ್ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಆಫ್ ತ್ರೀ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರಬಲ ಪ್ರಾರಬ್ಧ ದುರ್ಬಲ ಪ್ರಾರಬ್ಧ ಅಂಡ್ ಮಧ್ಯಮ ಪ್ರಾರಬ್ಧ ತ್ರೀ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರಾರಬ್ಧ ದ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರಾರಬ್ಧ based on the force of prarabdha it is of three types if it is durbalam then just mere prayer will nullify the the prarabdha papa papa karma prarabdha papam 
the papakshayam can be done just by mere prayer by either japa or by pilgrimage going to certain temples or by simple dhanam etc and madhyama prarabdha those can be nullified by the performance of rituals which may be little expensive an elaborate ritual can be done for a certain number of days etc they perform so that is madhyama prarabdha prarabdha can be nullified and there is prarabdha called prabhala prarabdha very strong prarabdha nothing can be done it cannot be nullified it will manifest because it has it has strong power strong it has strength its force is so huge your prashita cannot handle it only thing what person can do he can do prayer 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 does it nullify no prayer gives you the strength to bear the prabala prarabdha so therefore prayashita for handling durbala prarabdha and this madhyama prarabdha so papakshe sadhanani therefore prayashtitani so prayashtitam prayah tushtam chittam yatra tat prayashtitam that is prayashtitam Chittam means mind. Prayaha tushtam. Chittam which is happy or which becomes free from the papa by the performance of which that is called prayas chittam. Vigita karmana, vigita karmana manushtanena prashidda karmana cha ananushtanena utpannehi papaihi purushasya chittam malinam bhavati Vigita karmana ananushtanena, not performing the Vigita karma. Nishiddha karmana anushtanena. Vigita karmana ananushtanena. Prashiddha karmana anushtanena. Kimbhavati purushasya, purushasya chittam malinam bhavati. Dosham prapnoti, purushaha dosham prapnoti. Tena kimbhavati. Then, uh, by that, what happens? By the performance of the prohibited action, by non-performance of the ordained karma by the Shastram, the person mind is becomes polluted. Then what will be the effect of that? Then, uh, then akim bhavati sanmarge tasya pravartihi na bhavati. Tena sanmarge pravritti ki na bhavati kintu dushta marge pravritti ki syat. So therefore, sanmarge pravritti, sanmarge pravritti will not happen for that such person who has got this chittam which is, which is now which has become polluted. So he will follow the dushta marga. So therefore, Adrisha Durita Papa Shamanaya Shamanartam Papa Kshayartam Papa Kshay Uddeshena Vigitani Karmani Pragas Chittani. There is a shloka, beautiful shloka in Yagya Valkya Smriti, which is not in the commentary, this is taken from somewhere. Vigitasya Ananushtanath. Nindhitasya cha sevanat agni hotram ani graha cha indriyanam naraf patana mridhati tasmate nega sattavyam pragyas chittam vishuddhaye digitasya ananushtanat nindhitasya sevanat that is what I said performance of the nindhana Nindita karma, that is Nishiddha karma, non performance of Vigita karma. Result in what? Ani graha chendriyana, naraha patanam. A human being falls from the, from the goal, from the desired goal. So therefore, tasma tena by him, tasma tena, he kartavyam, what? Prayas chittam, vishuddhaye. 
ಪ್ರಾಗಿಷ್ಠಿತಂ ವಿಶುದ್ಧಗೆ ಕರ್ತವ್ಯಂ ಸೊ ಪ್ರಾಗಿಷ್ಠಿತಂ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಲೈಕ್ ವಾಟ್ ಚಾಂದ್ರಾಯಣಾದೀನಿ ಚಾಂದ್ರಾಯಣ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಚಾಂದ್ರಾಯಣ ಚಾಂದ್ರಾಯಣ ಇಸ್ ಅ ರಿಚುವಲ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಕರ್ಮ ಪ್ರಾಯಶ್ಚಿತ ಕರ್ಮ ಹೌ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಮೆಥಡ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಮೆಥಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವಿಂಗ್ ಚಾಂದ್ರಾಯಣ ಅಂಡ್ ಅನದರ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ದರ್ ಕೃಚರ ಕೃಚರ ಪ್ರಾಯಶ್ಚಿತ ಕರ್ಮ ಚಾಂದ್ರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಾಯಶ್ಚಿತ ಕರ್ಮ ಕಥಂ ಭವತಿ ಚಾಂದ್ರಾಯಣ ಕರ್ಮ ತಸ್ಯ ಪ್ರಕಾರ ಕಥಂ ಭವತಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಿಮಾಯ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿ ಪೌರ್ಣಮಿ ಪಂಚದಶ ಗ್ರಾಸ ಭೋಜನ ಕೃತ್ವ ತಟ ಪ್ರತಿಪದಾಧ್ಯಾಸು ತಿಥಿಷು ಏಕೈಕ ಗ್ರಾಸಂ ನ್ಯೂನೀಕೃತ್ಯ ಅಮಾವಾಸ್ಯಾಂ ಅಮಾವಾಸ್ಯಾಂ ಉಪವಾಸ ಕುರ್ಯಾತ್ ಪೂರ್ಣಿಮಾ ಪಂಚದಶ ಗ್ರಾಸ ಭೋಜನ ಕೃತ್ವ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಮಾರ್ಸಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫುಡ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಡೇ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಡೇ ಆಫ್ ಪೌರ್ಣಮಿ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಮಾರ್ಸಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫುಡ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಮೇಕ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದಿ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಮಾರ್ಸಲ್ಸ್ ಮಾರ್ಸಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಇನ್ ಒನ್ ಗೋ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಒನ್ ಮಾರ್ಸಲ್ ಸೊ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಮಾರ್ಸಲ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ಫುಡ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿ ಪೌರ್ಣಮಿ ಗ್ರಾಸ ಭೋಜನ ಕೃತ್ವ ತತ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಟ್ ಪ್ರತಿ ಪದಾಧ್ಯಾಸು ಫಾರ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಫಾರ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಡೇ ಫಾರ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಡೇ ಪ್ರತಿ ಪದ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ತಿಥಿ ಪೌರ್ಣಿಮಾ ಡೆನ್ ಪ್ರಥಮ ದ್ವಿತೀಯ ತೃತೀಯ ಚತುರ್ಥಿ ಪಂಚಮಿ ಷಷ್ಠಿ ಇತಿ ಪ್ರತಿ ಪದಾಧ್ಯಾಸು ತಿಥಿಷು ಏಕೈಕ ಗ್ರಾ ಗ್ರಾಸ ನ್ಯೂನೀಕೃತ್ಯ ರಿಡ್ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಮಾರ್ಸಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಫುಡ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಪೌರ್ಣಿಮಾ ಡೇ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಆನ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರಥಮ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಡೇ ಫೋರ್ಟೀನ್ ಆನ್ ದಿ ದ್ವಿತೀಯ ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಡೇ ಟು ಪೌರ್ಣಮಿ ರಿಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಟು ತರ್ಟೀನ್ ಸೊ ತರ್ಟೀನ್ ದೆನ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ಲೆವೆನ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ರಿಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಟು ಅಮಾವಾಸ್ಯ ಯಾಮ್ ಉಪವಾಸ ಕುರ್ಯಾತ್ ವೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಟು ಅಮಾವಾಸ್ಯ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ಫಾಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಉಪವಾಸ ಕುರ್ಯಾತ್ ಸೊ ನ್ಯೂನೀಕೃತ್ಯ ಕೃತ್ಯ ಅಮಾವಾಸ್ಯ ಯಾಮ್ ಉಪವಾಸ ಕೃತ್ಯ ಉಪವಾಸ ಕುರ್ಯಾತ್ ಪೂರ್ಣಿಮಾ ಪೂರ್ಣಿಮಾತ ಆರಭ್ಯ ಅಮಾವಾಸ್ಯ ಯಾಮ್ ಪರ್ಯಂತ ಅನ್ನ ದಟ್ ಗ್ರಾಸ ಭೋಜನ ನ್ಯೂನೀಕೃತ್ಯ ಕೃತ್ಯ ಉಪವಾಸ ಕುರ್ಯಾತ್ ಅಮಾವಾಸ್ಯಾಂ ಇತಿ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಟ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಕರ್ಮ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಪ್ರಾಯಶ್ಚಿತ್ತ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಚಾಂದ್ರಾಯನ ಪ್ರಾಯಶ್ಚಿತ್ತ ಕರ್ಮ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಓವರ್ ದೆನ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಪೌರ್ಣಿಮಾ ಟು ಅಮಾವಾಸ್ಯ ಇಸ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಗತಿ ದಿಸ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪಕ್ಷ ದೆನ್ ಶುಕ್ಲ ಪಕ್ಷ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಅಮಾವಾಸ್ಯ ಪುನಶ್ಚ ಶುಕ್ಲ ಪಕ್ಷ ಪಕ್ಷ ಪ್ರತಿಪಾದ ಆರಭ್ಯ ಕ್ರಮೇಣ ಏಕಂ ಏಕಂ ಗ್ರಾಸ ವರ್ಧಗನ್ ಪೂರ್ಣಿಮಾ ಪಂಚದಶ ಗ್ರಾಸ ಪರಿಮಿತ ಭೋಜನ ಕುರ್ಯಾತ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಅಮಾವಾಸ್ಯ ದೆನ್ ಶುಕ್ಲ ಪಕ್ಷ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಅಮಾವಾಸ್ಯ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಡೇ ದೆನ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಡೇ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸಿಂಗ್ ದ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಾರ್ಸಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫುಡ್ ಆನ್ ದಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಡೇ ಟು ಅಮಾವಾಸ್ಯ one morsel of food on the second day two morsel of food on the third day three so starting like that up to pournami on the day of pournami you have to take the 15 morsels of food so we started from pournami taking 15 morsels of morsels of food panchadasha grasa bhojan krutva armam krutva amavasya yam upavasam kuryat anantaram shukla paksha prati prati padatah arabhya ekam ekam grasam ವರ್ಧಗನ್ ಪೂರ್ಣಿಮಾ ಪಂಚದಶ ಗ್ರಾಸ ಪರಿಮಿತ ಪರಿಮಿತ ಭೋಜನ ಕುರ್ಯಾತ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಡೇ ಆಫ್ ಪೌರ್ಣಮಿ ಅಗೇನ್ ಯು ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ದಿ ದ ಸೈಕಲ್ ಬೈ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಮಾರ್ಸಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫುಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಚಂದ್ರಾಯಣ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇನ್ 
ಪ್ರಾಯಶ್ಚಿತ್ತ ಕರ್ಮ ಚಾಂದ್ರಾಯನಾದೀನಿ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಈಸಿ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ಮಾಸಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಫುಡ್ ಆನ್ ಆನ್ ದಿ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ಮಾಸಲ್ ಅಮಾವಾಸ್ಯ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ಫಾಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಡೇ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ಮಾಸಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಫುಡ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದಟ್ ಸ್ಲೋಲಿ ಹೌ ಟು ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಅಮ್ಮ ಪೌರ್ಣಮಿ ಹೌ ಟು ರೆಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಪೌರ್ಣಮಿ ಆನ್ ದ ಡೇ ಆಫ್ ಪೌರ್ಣಮಿ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಹವ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಮಾಸಲ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದಟ್ ರೆಡ್ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಒನ್ ದೆನ್ ಫೈನಲಿ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ದೆನ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಸೈಕಲ್ ಸಚ್ ಪ್ರಾಶಿತ ಕರ್ಮಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ದಿ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಸಚ್ ಪ್ರಾಶಿತ ಕರ್ಮಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ದಿ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಅಂಡ್ ಮೆನಿ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಹಾವ್ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪಾಸ್ಟ್ ಸಚ್ ಕರ್ಮ ಇವನ್ ನೌ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವಿಂಗ್ ಸಚ್ ಕರ್ಮ ಪ್ರಾಶಿತ ಕರ್ಮ ಸೊ ಸಚ್ ಕರ್ಮಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ರೆಕಮೆಂಡೆಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಪಾಪಕ್ಷಯ ಫಾರ್ ದ ನಲ್ಲಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಪೂರ್ವ ಕೃತ ಪಾಪ ಚಾಂದ್ರಾಯ ಚಾಂದ್ರಾಯನ ಆದೀನಿ ಆದಿ ಪದಾರ್ಥ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಅದರ್ ಪ್ರಾಶಿತ ಕರ್ಮ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸೊ ಬೋತ್ ವೈದಿಕ ಆಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಆಸ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರಾಶಿತ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಜನರಲಿ ಇಯರ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಜನರಲಿ ಇಯರ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಯಶಿತ ಕರ್ಮ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಡೊನೇಷನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಪೂವರ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ ಪರ್ಸ್ಯೂ ದ ಸ್ಟಡೀಸ್ by offering danam etc all those come all those are prayashita karma so prayashita karma therefore takes care of the purva krita papam that is also important therefore a sadaka should take that in consideration it's very important so nitya nainitika prayashita anushthane why prayashita itself this is this is for the nullification of purva krita papam now no new papams are allowed being a jignasu being a mumukshu now no new papams are allowed that is why nishiddha is nishiddha already so now no new papams are allowed whatever papam have been committed before becoming a jignasu for that only this karma prayashita karma this prayashtam is what is wrongly interpreted by the other religion christian mainly christianity as confession confession also it is after the after the mistake after the mistake it is confessed and asking for expiation but nowadays it has become totally opposite before doing anything before doing any murder they go and ask for confession it is the 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 whole idea itself is reversed that is not in fact the same confession is there in the christianity also but the price of the karma but now that the whole idea itself has become totally different wrong actually not different wrong completely wrong for the karma which have been performed unknowingly by mistake for that only confession prayashita not for the karma which are going to perform that is not allowed that is should be avoided nishiddha so therefore nitya naimittika prayashita karma anushthanam then comes upasana the previous three nitya naimitika prashita or the karmas what about upasana upasana is the karma now the karma itself karma required for a mumukshu for gaining chitta shuddhi chitta shuddhi that's very clear now this karma can be classified into three types based on based on the means of performing the karma karma can be performed with the body kaya it's called kaika karma karma can be performed with vak it's called vachika vachika karma karma can be performed with the mind manasam it's called manasa karma so karma need not be only physical it can be vachika it can be manasa and there is a gradation kaya vangmana karya muttamam poojanam japas chittanam kramat in the upadesha saram amana magrashi beautifully says kari kaya vangmana karya muttamam that is kaika karma vang that is vak vachika karma then manaha manasa karma this uttarottaram it is uttarottaram karma dhariyasi 
that is compared to kaya karma vachika karma is stronger it is powerful uttamam and compared to vachika karma manasam karma is uttamam so compared to the karma what you do physically like going to the temple prostration namaskara pratakshina etc all these are kaya karma even puja performance of the puja ishta devata the puja doing abhishekam etc that is poojanam compared to that vachika karma is uttamam like japa etc poojanam japas chintanam karma poojanam puja puja is kaya karma compared to the kaya karma japa karma japam is japam is manasam that is uttamam japa or chanting of the stotram shlokas and japa itself japa itself there are three varieties but we will see later so japa is vak vachika karma then manasa karma that is chintanam and that is what here it is say upasana chintanam chintanam is thinking thinking of what what is the object of thinking based on the object of thinking based on the object of thinking the manasa karma that is upasana based on the object of thinking the object of thinking can be object of thinking for a mumukshi it has to be ishvara brahma alone but the brahma can be saguna or nirguna brahma can be saguna or nirguna if it is saguna brahma then it is called upasana if the object of thinking is nirguna brahma that becomes nididhyasanam that is what a jignasu will do but as a mumukshu when the object of thinking is saguna brahma saguna brahma means your ishta devata or your you ishta devata or you contemplate on brahma with attributes so that saguna brahma vishaya Vishaya manasa vyapara. Manasa vyapara is the mental karma that becomes upasana. So, nididhyasanam is manasam. Upasana also manasam. Then what is the difference between the two? The difference is, upasana involves saguna brahma. Nididhyasanam involves nirguna brahma. That is the difference. One is karma. Man, upasana is karma only. Manasam karma. Nididhyasana is Jnanam. That's a difference. Anyway, Nididhyasana part, we will come later. The author himself will say later. The means for gaining Jnanam through Shavana Manana Nididhyasana. But here, as a preparatory means, Upasana is presented by the author. We will read that. And I told this Vak Karma, Vachika Karma, Vachika Karma, that Japa, Japa also are of three types. Japa can be done either loudly chanting loudly the mantra or you can with your lip movement just the lip moves only the lip movement can be seen that is also it's called upamshu japa that is type of japa or the repetition of the name of the lord mentally there is no lip movement there is no there is no sign of the person doing anything because the person does the japa mentally. So here also there is a gradation. Compared to chanting the name of the Lord loudly, upamshu, just lip movement, chanting the chanting the name, not loudly, only the lip moves. That is better. Compared to that, upamshu, japa, chanting the name of the Lord within the mind, in the mind, that is greater. That's a, that's, here also there is a gradation. In the, this is a so this is this is a vachika karma this is a vachika karma therefore in japam also there is a gradation so therefore kaika karma vachika karma and manasa karma under manasa karma only this upasana comes based on the object of the contemplation this is divided into two that one becomes upasana that becomes a karma other one that is if it is nirguna brahma that is not a karma it becomes vididhyasana there the object of meditation is not different from you here the object of meditation is 
the beginning, his take is assumed to be different from you, Saguna Brahma. It is Brahma with Saguna. Nirguna, when we say it is Atma, Brahma, which is you. That is meant for knowing, therefore Nididhyasana. Here, Saguna Brahma is for focusing the mind, for gaining Chitta Naishalyam. It is not for Jnanam, Chitta Naishalyam. And therefore, it is a karma. What karma? Karma performed in the mind. Therefore, it is Manasam Karma. Let us read this and we will see more on this in the next class. Upasanani. Upasanani. Saguna Brahma Vishaya Manasa Vyapara Rupani. Sagura Brahma Vishaya Manasa Vyapara Rupani. One word it is. Upasana is Sagura Brahma Vishaya Manasa Vyapara. Shandilya Vidya Dini. Shandilya Vidya Dini. Here also author gives a, an example. Shandilya Vidya, which is there in Shandilya Upanishad. In fact, there are many Upasanas mentioned in the Vedanta itself. In the Gadaranika Upanishad, in the beginning, you will find a lot of upasanas. Why in Brigadaranika? Even in Taitri Upanishad itself, in the Shikshavali, there is upasanam. What upasanam? Sangita upasanam. Atatas Sahamidaya Upanishadam Vya Akya Syamaha Panchasvadikaraneshu Adiloka Madi Jyotisha Madi Vidya Madi Prajamadhyatmam. So, five. Pancha Samhito Pasana, Pasana is talked about. You have studied Taitra Upanishad, you know that taking for example Loka, Adi Loka, Athadi Lokam, Prithvi Purva Rupam, Gyauruttara Rupam, Akasha Sandhi, Vayus Sandhanam, Ityadi Lokam. So Adi Lokam. Adi Jyotisham, Adi Vidyam, Adi Prajam, Adhyatam, Iti. Pancha Sangito Pasanam is talked about in the Taitri Upanishad Shikshavali itself. Sanghita means Sandhi. We know Sanghita is Sandhi. Atadi Vidyam. If you take the Upasana, Atadi Vidyam. Acharya Purva Rupam. In Sandhi, what happens? Purva, Purva Padam is there, Para Padam is there. Purvam and Para. And, and then both comes together. Therefore, Sandhi, because of that, there is something, change happening, Sandhan. The same idea. Acharya Purva Rupam, Anteva Suttara Rupam, Acharya is Purva Rupam, Anteva is Shishya. Then what is that which brings them close together? Vidya Sandhi. Then Pravachanagum Sandhanam, Ityadi Vidyam. Iti, the Upasanas are talked about. Even in Vedanta also, Upasanas are there. All these are meant for preparing the mind, preparing to gain the Chitta Naishalyam. For that, these are Vedantic meditation. Not Vedantic meditation. Vedantic meditation is different. These such Upasanas are talked about in Vedanta. Such Upasanas. Here, Shandilya Vidya. There is Panchagni Vidya. But like that, many upasanas are talked about. Shandilya Vidya, it is in Chandogya Upanishad. Here, the author doesn't describe all those things because not interested. It is out of scope of this Vedantic text. Just mentioning the name Shandilya Vidya Dini. And upasanas, you can take from Taitri Upanishad, Panchasamita Upasana. And there as well as other upasanas are there in the Shikshavali itself. One more upasana is there. All these are meant for gaining Chitta Naishalyam. Where is Chitta Naishalyam? Where is it mentioned? The author himself will say later. What is, see, having mentioned the names of karma and upasana, names of karma is Kamya, Nishiddha, etc. Then the author will say the result of doing it, result of performance of the karma, Result of performance of the upasana. The author is going to tell what is the utility because we are interested in the utility. What is the use? Without that, definition is not complete. Without that, the topic is not complete. Definition is this only this much, but the topic is not complete without telling the utility of that. That is going to come later. Karmana kim bhavati, upasanaya kim prapnoti. That is going to come later. We will see. We will see in the, in the next class.
ಓಂ ಪೂರ್ಣಮದ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಿದ ಪೂರ್ಣಾತ್ ಪೂರ್ಣಮುರಚ್ಯತೆ ಪೂರ್ಣಸ್ಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಾದಾಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮೇವಾವಶಿಷ್ಯತೆ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತ ಶಾಂತ ಶಾಂತಿ ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಧನ್ಯವಾದ ಧನ್ಯವಾದ ಗುರುಜಿ ಧನ್ಯವಾದ 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 ಗುರುಜಿ